Okie dokie. Thank you so much for coming and uh, watching this. Um, Catherine and I are very excited <laughs> because this has been um, quite a long journey for us to get to the point of where we're at right now, but it's here and it's finally here. And um, we are wanting to shout from the rooftops about this amazing product that we have um, come together and, and designed um, for, for your children. Um, and, um, we are super excited, like I said. So I wanted to explain um, where it fits um, in the swimming aquatic world and why it's beneficial to you um, and so forth. But um, I want to say welcome and thank you, like I've just said. And so what will I be covering today? So um, you have may have not seen me <laughs> before. So I just wanted to give you a little brief introduction about who I am. Um, and what sort of training aids are already on the market out there that you're probably familiar with um, or not so familiar but um, and then why um, why I think training aids are particularly important to use throughout your child's journey um, to learn to swim and what do I use um, and why have I chosen to um, design the orca and there's a little bit of a bonus at the end if you stay to the end. So who am I? So I'm Helen and I have been a swimming teacher for 27 years and this year would have been 28. <laughs> um, and um, unfortunately 2020 we, we didn't, I didn't teach but um, I was still uh, actively online doing some lots of cool things behind the scenes but um, I'm a swim school owner and I have been for 17 years. I had a swim school in Florida in America and then um, many water adventurers over here in the UK. Um, I do have a sports science degree and I also am qualified as a teacher. I've been an educator since 2001 and I was a sports science lecturer and a PE teacher for a fair few years. Um, and um, my two, the two businesses, the first one was Helen's Fishers Club. Um, and then we transitioned to um, here into the UK of where we um, became and grew and we will be growing and we are mini water adventurers. Um, and we are, and I am, the proud designer of the Orca Swim Trainer, and we now do what's called EPIC Bath Boxes. Um, and EPIC stands for Explore, Play, Investigate and Create. And we now do these bath boxes that um, transform your bath time and water play into um, an amazing experience for your children. Um, and we are always looking um, and researching for alternative and progressive ways to teach swimming. Um, we are always looking for the future as to what we believe um, is uh, great ways of um, um, enabling your, your um, child to have such a positive and wonderful experience of their journey of learning to swim. So that's who I am, we are. <laughs> So you maybe be looking for something um, for your children um, for the pool because now local leisure centres are either opened or they're opening up. Um, depending on where you are around the world, they may have already been open for a while, um, but you're still searching for something um, that is good for your child. Um, there's also local water parks opening up, um, which is really cool and fun. So it's something that you might need for that. Um, and are you booking your holiday? <laughs> um, if you are, then this is where I want to go. <laughs> um, but so you might be um, booking your holidays for later in the year. I know some people already have. And maybe you've chosen a holiday of where there is such a cool, fun water park there as well. Or maybe on the complex that you have chosen, there may be one of these, which looks absolutely phenomenal place. I think I might want to go there too. <laughs> um, and you might um, be going to the beach. So um, going to um, spend your time in these very cool huts. These look great too and um, very popular I believe um, said on the news the other day that they are um, uh, very expensive now um, but yes so uh, you may be choosing to go to the beach and um, enjoying the water there. 
Um, you may also be going to lakes and rivers. Um, you may be boating or um, you may just be pottering around or just splashing around in some beautiful lakes and rivers, um, which here in the UK we have lots of lovely ones and also of course abroad. So have you tried and tested some training aids? Um, because I know I have, <laughs> and these are what the most popular ones that you're probably more, most familiar with. So uh, water wings or armbands, um, then you've got the float jackets, which you may be familiar with, and then also the back floats. Um, you may have heard of the shark fin um, or um, maybe the turtle pack, but um, they are just floats that are on the back only. Um, now, unfortunately, um, I am quite worried about these particular um, training aids in the fact that there are um, restrictions, especially with the armbands of movement because they just bob around in the water. Um, and unfortunately, if one falls off, then it, um, it is actually um, not safe at all. Um, so I really don't recommend armbands whatsoever. Um, so that's why later on they actually started to, to develop these float jackets. Now the problem with these float jackets, it's all or nothing. Um, so you put them on and they're extremely bulky and for this poor child, it then comes all the way up to their neck um, and it's not um, tight across the body or anything. So um, really doesn't do them any great, especially if they're claustrophobic, poor guys, <laughs> goes up around their neck. And then these back floats, because the floats are only on their back, it then unfortunately forces a child forward. So a little bit of like um, as ladies wearing high heels. Um, I don't know about you, but I always feel as I'm falling because they actually do force you forward um, when you are walking, which is very similar to what happens in the water. And I actually call it turtleneck. So if your child starts doing this in the water and lifting their head and then they end up bowing their backs, which... Um, is really not great for their spine and also for um, their, their um, spine up here and also their necks. So uh, physiologically, they are not what I would recommend um, um, at all. So that's why um, I decided that um, we are going to make this game changer. <laughs> and um, it really is a game changer. Um, we have tried and tested it for a number of years now and a number of children have been made extremely happy and excited because they have been testing these for us. Um, and um, even my son said the other day, you're going to make lots of children um, feel very happy and excited mummy because they are um, available to everybody now. So um, he's uh, five and he has been using this and this is Harry here, uh, my son. So this is the game changer. So we are introducing to you the Orca swim trainer. Um, and like I said, um, uh, we've um, spent our time, um, I spent my time designing this um, for children aged two to five. So like I just mentioned, it has been tested on a fair few hundred of children <laughs> here in the UK and um, in Florida as well over a number of years. Um, and I just have this little video because it does capture for just um, about a minute um, about uh, a little bit more information. So I'm, I'm hoping that it will play. So let's fingers crossed. I have been a swim teacher for 27 years and in that time I have taught hundreds of children to swim. Currently on the market, the swimming aids just really concern me. Water wings restrict arm movement, the, the float jacket um, comes up to their chin and the back float is forcing the child forward and that's why I developed the Orca Swim Trainer. The Orca Swim Trainer is designed to encourage confidence, independence, strength and endurance all at the same time, as well as having a ton of fun in the water. The Orca Swim Trainer is a perfect all-in-one learned swim aid from paddler to confident swimmer, ideal for infants to preschool age. The Orca Swim Trainer offers adjustable buoyancy, which our child won't be overly conscious of being slowly decreased over time so they can focus on swimming skills and enjoying themselves while their ability develops. 
It provides a peace of mind for you and helps them to enjoy the water for longer each time you go swimming. This one is the 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 is tiny care of confidence a lot. She's a very independent little girl. She doesn't want to be held. We're looking forward to getting one. Brilliant. Yay, that worked. <laughs> so as it did um, say in, in the video, um, so in brief, this is a perfect all-in-one swim aid and it is for paddler to confident swimmer. It is suitable for children aged about two years old. Um, I have used it as early 18 months old. And the reason why I am saying that is because um, I know the signs when the child actually starts pushing off you as the adult, that they are then ready to go independently in the water. So I have had children as young as 18 months old giving me those signs. Therefore, we have put the orca on um, and then they are able to um, go off. <laughs> um, so they are pushing off and they are wanting to go, which is our sign to send, say that let's give them something to enable them to do that, um, which is why the orca is perfect. Um, and then it goes up to about five years old. Um, it, it, it is adjustable, so I'll go into that a little bit. Um, so um, like I said, my son Harry, he's five and a half and it still fits him. Um, as long as it is tight around the torso, that is the most important part. Um, so you have obviously children that are are smaller, bigger, um, longer bodies, shorter legs and things like that. So um, it is approximation and that's why it's adjustable. Um, it does change the way your child learns to swim um, and it helps your child to enjoy the water independently for water, in, um, independently for longer. So they are able to go off, obviously, within arm's reach of you. Of course, we don't want to say, hey, here you go, off you go and um, you go off and, and, and explore by yourself. Um, it is not a safe safety device. Um, it is a specifically to learn to swim. So you must please still be in arm's reach of your child. Um, at any point, please don't turn, turn your back on your child um, when they are off. Um, so that's really important to to um, to say that um, it's amazing because it has adjustable straps. So around the torso, you're able to make it as snug as you can be. And that's, like I said, the most important place because that is where they are needing the flotation or the actual um, area of their core, which is not developed yet and that is why they need those um, the float pads there um, the straps above the neck they are also um, sorry on the shoulders are adjustable too um, they don't have to be really really tight it's literally there just to um, um, uh, just to give them enough room around their necks um, to, to position them correctly of where the floats are around the torso so there is a nine float pad graduation system um, and it is what's called progressive. So the nine floats, they're in the back. You've got four in the front and five in the back. Um, and so you actually will start taking the float pads out as and when it's needed. Um, when you do buy your orcas, there will be an information little booklet that comes with it and there will be a video as to when to give you um, um, the guidance as to when to take them out. Um, and it is they are located, like I said, around the chest and the back. So what's really great about this is that they can move in any direction that they need to be and it's not affected. So, um, you know, say, for instance, the um, the the water wings or the armbands, they are just so restrictive. Um, and then the floats on the back, it's really hard for them if they want to roll onto their back very quickly, it can't because they, they have this thing on their back only, um, which really does restrict their movement. So this literally is a second skin, um, which is um, really great for the child because it gives them that freedom. 
Now the removal of the float pads do allow um, your child to eventually swim unaided in this natural swimming position. So when I show you in a moment the graduation system chart, it shows you how the child progressively over time enables them to be in that swim, um, the correct swimming position of where they are um, along the top part of the water basically um, their legs aren't dragging um, and they um, their faces are of course on top of the water um, and um, the float pad pockets are also easy to take out um, so as you can see the floats here are in their individual little pockets or in their little bags um, so it's great for an easier to dry <laughs> so if you take them out of, of um, after you've been to the pool then it's actually quicker time for them to dry um, and also I always recommend that if you are doing any type of safety skills or any jumps from the side um, that to do most of of that time without them in so they don't get what they call this false sense of security of having a um, float device on. Um, so it's really important to have them swim without it as well as with it. So if you this see this as something that um, you, you have your weights in the gym, so you've gone to the gym and you're doing a little bit of weight training, um, then you see this, this orca as being the weight and it's, it it's actually works with you um, to to gain your strength. So that's that's the 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 idea behind this. So when I was when I was designing this, I was really looking for three key points, which is really important in the swimming world. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail because <laughs> um, it can get quite sciencey. Um, but these are the three main areas as to where it is it works phenomenally in the aquatic world. So the book body mechanics basically enables the child to um, to learn to swim in the correct swimming position which is really important because all those years of me teaching a lot of children really struggled when they were learning to swim um, so this enables the body mechanics such that the child learns to swim in the correct position um, and then psychologically and physiologically as, to, um, as well, which again is really important, Psy psychologically meaning that um, it gives them that, cell, um, that confidence boost, um, it, it gives them the, the, you know, over the time of them progressing, then it gives them the, um, that, that confidence and, and um, you know, the elation that they're doing this um, by themselves and it's um, amazing to watch the difference. Um, and then physiologically, they are building their endurance, they're building their strength, they are just building their core muscles, everything about their body, they are improving and increasing um, over the period of time of using it, which is well needed. Because um, if you can imagine, a two year old physically can't actually swim, they will literally hold their breath and they will try and swim as fast as they can across the end of the pool until their air, their their breath has um, has gone, <laughs> their air is they have no more, which to me is not swimming. Um, so we teach them what I call pop up breathing. So it teaches them to take a breath and then blow their bubbles, which again um, is really important to um, have them get into that um, way of thinking of learning to swim. So in our Learn to Swim, our particular Learn to Swim programme, and it does correlate and it does work with other swim programmes as well, but um, we uh, just wanted to mention here that in our particular Purpose for Play swim programme, we have uh, four stages, but like I said, this does um, you know, relate to the um, world if you are going and doing it by yourself, but so basically stage one is when you're starting to swim. So i.e. a baby um, going into your early toddler years. And then stage two is when they really starting to learn those um, uh, fundamental skills, which is normally around two. Um, and that is when you will start using the orca swim trainer to assist them with that. And then as they transition through to stage three, um, stage three they're becoming more confident um, and more able. Therefore, that's around about age four and five and then stage four is then when they are um, graduated from their orca swim trainer and then they will be going on to what's called their complex swimming skills meaning they're learning um, freestyle backstroke um, butterfly and um, um, 
well, if I missed out breaststroke, <laughs> that was my stroke, how can I forget that? Um, so then that's when the well, meaning about the complex swim skills. So the orca swim trainer is not used um, when they are learning their, their full strokes, that's what we say. Um, so it's really important that they are used in these particular stages of a child's swim journey. So just very quickly, the learn to swim, they are really focusing on getting the child more confident in the water when they are starting to swim. Um, they need this freedom to move and develop their skill set. So um, we are a play based swim school um, and it uh, enables them to go off independently in the water and really explore and understand their body movements in the water. And this enables them to do that. Um, I am actually going to do a webinar um, in a couple of months time with regards to risk taking in swimming. Um, it has stopped and I don't know why it stopped. I think it might be because either teachers or parents are um, not scared, but they are worried about um, children jumping in and, and just having all this freedom in the water. But it's actually really important for a child to understand what a risk and a hazard is. Um, and if they are ever put in that situation, then they need to understand how to get themselves out of it. Um, uh, but obviously, as the, when they are younger, you don't want to ever put them in that situation, but you're giving them those fundamentals right from the start for them to automatically think that way. And so this orca enables them um, to, to um, um, like I said, be free in the water and explore that. Stage three is when they become a lot more confident in the water and it's it's amazing to watch the difference between when they are starting the almost like the cycling action at first and then you start seeing them just relaxing in the water and becoming um, their confidence is there, their strength is increasing and then they start then becoming um, more elongated in the water, their chins lower to the water, their legs are up behind them um, and it I can I I love watching it. It's just amazing to see um, how the stages go through. It really does support the child continuing to develop their strength, confidence and their swimming ability in a safe and fun way. And that's what it's all about as well as having fun in the water. If they are having fun. They are learning. If they are moving, they are learning. And that's really important. So when they are at this, this stage, then you will then start taking the float pads out. And this is what the graduation system um, pretty much looks like. They do start with holding hands first with the parent um, or adult. And then as they start becoming more confident in the water and again, they all start pushing you off and they're ready, <laughs> um, which then, you know, fly with that. Um, and then stage three, which is when they're in this position, that is then when you will start taking the floats out, never earlier because they will only sink. Um, and they say it themselves, I feel as though I'm sinking. Um, and that is not the right time to take them out. Um, so it's again, really important to start taking them out in the right time. But like I said, all that information is given to you. So really quickly then again about the psychological side of things, which is really important um, in the swimming world, especially if you have very nervous children in the water. And if you have um, children that are, um, you know, have some sort of challenges in the water, um, when, we're when removing the float pads, your child needs to be ready and you're doing it when they are ready, not sooner. Um, and it will allow you cu to customize their buoyancy levels. And this is the beauty of it being progressive. You can take them out, but it's okay. You can also then put them back in. So for instance, with having all this time off out of the water, some children will now need to have put all of those floats back in again. And that's okay. It's okay that you can take them out and put them back in again. And that's the beauty of it. It's not all or nothing. Um, and you can customize it. Maybe they're tired one day and you see that they're struggling. We'll put one back in. That's absolutely fine. Um, they won't be aware of the buoyancy being um, slowly, slowly decreased over time and that their focus is that they can focus on their swimming skills and having their fun. And their faces just show it. <laughs> 
Um, <clears throat> physiologically, there is, like I said, the adjustable strap, so it enables them to then grow with your child. So it lasts longer than just a few growth spurts. Um, the all-in-one suit is like a second skin. So, um, so they're putting it on and they don't, uh, it's not an all or nothing thing like I've mentioned before. It gives them the right support in the right places. And like I said, the, um, in, in the younger children, it is their core that is needing to really improve, um, not improve, sorry, um, increase in strength. Um, and, and that's why the buoyancy is in that position. Um, and it boosts the child confidence. Um, it allows the time for your child to, to build that strength and endurance over time. Um, so I used to always see children with their legs just unfortunately just couldn't keep up with them. They would be um, dragging behind them. And as soon as they needed that breath to come up, um, it was just, well, it was just, it just looked painful, bless them. Um, and it's, you really wanted to encourage them, entice them to keep going, but, um, uh, and so this is why this is the game changer. So as you can see here, the first they will start will be from holding your hands. And I always suggest that you do it in front of each other because you can see each other um, and um, blow bubbles and, and practice doing all those sort of things with each other first. Um, and, and, and I would always say in my lessons, let them hold you, not you hold them. And then they start becoming this independence. So like I said, this stage three of where they are literally pushing off you and their faces. I mean, you can see little Pippa here. She is just so happy that she's able to go off on her own. And just once she was off, she was off. And it was like, see you, mum. <laughs> um, and it was amazing to watch. And it was just um, brilliant. And then it's to graduation. So they are now these strong, confident swimmers that already they're in there swimming in the correct position um, and they are just strong, confident, amazing little swimmers. So it's perfect for children that are nervous in the water. It gives them, like I said, that psychological um, um, the second skin around them. It's almost like this comfort blanket, which is amazing. It really does help. Um, and also um, for parents as well, gives them that peace of mind as well. If their child is, is nervous in the water, then it, that gives them them also, uh, you know, those thoughts of, of positive thoughts that then passed on to the children as well. Um, so it's, I mean, literally is a game changer for nervous children. I can't, I can't express any more about how it's brilliant for them. But then also, I've worked with hundreds of children that are extremely confident in the water as well, and they are ready to go. But unfortunately, physiologically, they can't because they are not strong enough yet. And there is no way that they can be strong enough because of the, because of the way that they are developing. Um, and then so this allows them to feel free in the water um, and they and. Yeah, like I said before, it's just amazing to watch the difference between them able to go off on their own um, with their parent and have fun. They're just you, you're swimming with them side by side. Um, the beauty about swimming as well is this is the only sport of where you will be eye to eye with each other um, and down on their level um, doing some wonderful um, cool things together. Then also it's, it's amazing and beautiful for people or uh, children that um, have learning and physical dis disabilities. Um, so, um, so this is brilliant for, for those as well. So if they have autism and they're needing to have some extra time in the water, they're wanting to need to have um, some extra help in the water, that's brilliant. Um, and any other type of physical disabilities. Um, there is also um, children that need to be a little bit more aware of their body. Um, so the positioning of where they need to be in the water, this enables them to spend that time to do that. Some children, unfortunately, feel a little bit heavy in the water, um, especially when they're getting a little bit older. Their legs may be really heavy um, and um, you know, they, they find that um, being upright in the water or in the correct position really, really tricky. And this, again, is a, another game changer for them. Um, so I just wanted to add in that these are all handmade. Um, here it is making making one. <laughs> 
as you can see the sewing machine going there is between four or five different specialist seamstresses working on this um, so it is um, it's truly um, handmade and just um, beautifully put together um, and these are the sizes. I have put this on, on the Facebook page. Um, so uh, if you need to check the sizing for this, then it's all on there. But we have a small, medium and large. Um, so this we recommend, obviously, depending, um, of course, on the, uh, you, you know, the sizing of your child. Um, but then this chart then helps for that to see whether or not you need to go up or down. Um, and so, yeah you can enjoy yourself going to the local swimming pools now when they're open you can enjoy these on your holiday you can take them to the beach and enjoy being splashing in the in the ocean or the sea <clears throat> you can enjoy being in lakes um, and and of course take it to you when you go to water parks um, i really do want to stress the fact that this is not a life-saving device it is a training aid and it works with your child um, so at no point you need to please do not leave your child unattended and you shouldn't anyway um, but i uh, i can't stress enough that that is so important <clears throat> so in conclusion <laughs> Using the Orca Swim Trainer in the correct way results in your child learning to swim faster and becoming stronger and more of an independent swimmer, which is what our mini water adventurers mission is, is for your child to be this independent, wonderful swimmer that can think for themselves and really enjoy their time um, in, the, in, in their time in the water with you. And this really helps them do that. So do you think this is for you and for your children? Um, I hope it is. Um, I, like I said, I think every child should have an orca swim trainer in their swimming kit. Um, we do have a pre-sale price um, until May 10th, which is when they will be um, on their way over to us. Um, so please take, um, please take that opportunity to have that price. It is £10 cheaper than it will be um, after May 10th. So if you're thinking about it, do it. <laughs> do it. Um, and then um, they will be here, um, hopefully end of May, beginning of June latest. So um, we're really excited. Um, and um, yeah, May is just going to be, well, it's here around the corner in a bit. Um, so uh, thank you for being here. If you have any questions, then please ask away. Um, I'm sure <clears throat> I've probably talked um, a lot about um, different things in the water, that I would do in swimming lessons. <laughs> um, but um, I hope I've given you an overview as to uh, what our orca um, will provide your children and for you as well um, throughout your swimming journey. So I'm going